are on their way out any day now. And you thought that because the Davos people and our own leaders assured us of that for decades. They told us that green energy was the future and the future is here. It's here. As recently as last month, the World Economic Forum claimed that Europe could save, quote, one trillion in fossil fuel costs by switching to renewables. But it turns out, and this may not shock you, they had no clue what they were talking about. They knew nothing about the subject, the subject they talked about endlessly. Green energy cannot replace fossil fuels. Not now, not anytime soon. Fossil fuels remain what they have always been, the key to civilization. That is true now. That has been true since Homo erectus started the first cooking fire in a cave nearly a million years ago. So-called green energy is not close, is nowhere near replacing gas and oil and coal. It's measurable. We could have known this. Anyone with eighth grade math skills could have figured out in about 10 minutes that we cannot replace fossil fuels with renewables or green energy. And of course, they must have known that. When they told you otherwise, it was just posturing. It was childish and destructive fantasy talk that apparently fooled millions of their citizens and millions of ours. The Green New Deal means what it always meant. It means poverty. And the people pushing the Green New Deal must have known that all along. They don't actually believe climate change is an imminent threat. If they actually believe climate change was an imminent threat, an existential emergency, the first thing they would have done, the very first, would be to ban private jets. Oh, but no. To this day, Al Gore still flies on private jets. Barack Obama owns tens of millions of dollars of beachfront property. He knows the oceans aren't rising. Come on. So they're all in on it. It's a scam, but they don't care because they know they personally will escape the consequences of their own policies. So when the French president announces that his people are facing the end of abundance, he's not talking about himself. He's not facing the end of abundance. None of them are. Macron and all of them understand they will always be rich and always be protected. They know that for certain. What's changed, what's so very interesting, is that suddenly everyone else who's been paying attention can see that they were lying. They are frauds, and the entire population of Europe now knows that. Donald Trump, to his credit, whatever you think of him, caught on to this early. Four years ago, Trump warned Europe about its energy future during his speech at the United Nations. The German delegation laughed at him. Remember this? Germany will become totally dependent on Russian energy if it does not immediately change course. Here in the Western Hemisphere, we are committed to maintaining our independence from the encroachment.